High school football season is winding down with the state quarterfinals this weekend. One team has extra motivation this season. Chris Egan traveled to North Kitsap High in Paulsbo to share their story in this week's prep zone. North Kitsap is having one of its best seasons in school history. The Vikes won their conference crown. They're 10 and 0 and are now getting ready for the state quarterfinals. Their work ethic's outstanding. They're great kids off the field. Um, just a joy to coach. Never have to get on them about being ready. And, and um, so it's just it's kind of a coach's dream to have a group like this. Last Friday, North Kitsap knocked WF West out of the playoffs with a dominant 38 to 7 win at home. It was the last game at North Kitsap Stadium for the senior class. This means a whole lot. This whole season's been a really big deal with loss of Hunter and everything. We've 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 used it as kind of fuel fuel to our fire, and we've it's it's kept us going. Hunter Scott was a member of the Vikings football team. He was going to be a senior this year, but was killed last January. His teammates called him a master motivator. They say he was always on this field, pumping everybody up. He loved just to hit people and. Uh get out there and have fun and if it was a nasty day you know he was the one that was leading the charge and trying to get everyone pumped up and, um, and he loved to run down on kickoff and hit people that was the type of guy he was he, he was like one of my best friends like he'd always make me laugh make me smile all that kind of stuff uh, he was you could always pick you always knew where he was i wish we could have had our senior year together but yeah something's happened this season north kitsap players have worn special socks to honor hunter they also have a poster-sized photo of them they bring out for the coin toss and keep on the sidelines during games. Senior Dax Solis held the picture last Friday as players and fans sang the school's fight song. Earlier in the night, Dax rushed for 166 yards and four touchdowns. He says he could feel Hunter's presence. We're just so excited because Hunter, after last year, he gave us a speech. I was actually at the end of this game, it would be, and he's like, Next year we're going all the way. Next year I promise you guys that we're going all the way. And I told him, I told him I'm going to do anything I can to do that. And it's awesome that the kids take his picture with us everywhere we go and hold that up. And I think uh, he's right on our shoulder every game. So special, special that we've been able to do what we can for him, and we certainly miss him. But uh, um, you know he's there with us every step of the way. They say Hunter has become their 12th man. This Friday, the Vikings will need Hunter's inspiration as they face off against undefeated 2A powerhouse Archbishop Murphy, the defending state champions. He would have made a big difference for us and made us even tougher this year, you know, but um, you know, he's done what he can from where he's at. And, uh, and I think, uh, you know, every game he's right there helping the kids along the way. North Kitsap is no stranger to playing Archbishop Murphy. The last two years, the Wildcats have knocked the Vikings out of the state playoffs. In Paulsville, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.